What's up, guys? I'm Machete Panda, and I am back. I am back with Railroads Online. I played this game about a year ago when it very first uh, opened up for early access. Um, it is all about building railroads. One of the coolest things about this is the physics engine. The physics engine actually runs with the wheels running on the tracks. The wheels physically interact with the tracks to keep the train on track. Most railroad games run on a pre-designed path that follows the railroad track. This is a big deal. So it's very cool, real physics, and they've done their best to create the real physics of all these different trains. It's very frontier style, so there's very, very much uh, old trains. Um, and that's where they're starting that. Um, they'll be adding more later. But right now you build a railroad, you try and connect your railroad to different industries and you get those industries up and running and you earn more money from them. And ultimately the goal is to get, um, uh, I believe it's the oil field. And once you have the oil fields running, you have a ton of money, you can buy all kinds of cool toys. So without further ado, let's get started. And we are in the game. This is your starting point. Um, we are on a very large map. This is your starting point. They give you two pieces of equipment. This little um, potter engine. Just a small little engine. And one flatbed. Now this flatbed is a logging car. So you load logs on here. And you sell them. Or you put them into parts of the industry that help you build uh, the rest of the railroad. So let's take a look at the map real quick. So we are right at the freight depot. And where we need to go is to the logging camp. And from the logging camp, we need to get to the sawmill. The sawmill produces beams. And the beams are used at the, do the iron ore mine first. And then the iron ore at the smelter, the smelter creates um, steel rails and beams. Um, which you can use for the coal mine down in the lower right there. And the coal mine gets you, um, you know, more coal for use in the ironworks where you melt the, the metal you get from the smelter. And uh, it produces more things that go toward the oil field. And you keep building more things that take you into the refinery. Um, so... You have to connect all these industries. The first step, though, is the bottom of the production chain is going to be the logging camp. Um, so we need to get to the logging camp. And once we're at the, we've connected the log, logging camp, we can start to um, sell logs to earn money to connect to the sawmill to get more cars to start bringing the logs to the sawmill. And... Um, yeah, and then we keep growing from there. So that's going to be this this uh, season, and uh, let's get started. So I should tell you about this menu uh, before we go any further. Let's... Before we go any further, I want to tell you about this menu. Um, this is the menu that you use to construct all your materials with. So you have rails here that you can add. Um, you have switches you can add, cross rails, um, turntables, bumpers, um, embankments, bridges, all kinds of things in here for you to add to your railroad. And then we have some facilities here. We have a water tower. You need water water for that for those uh, those those trucks, those uh, steam engines. Sander for steep grades, um, firewood because uh, you're going to need wood for your burners. And then we have an alpine shed or an engine shed, which is alpine blue. We have a couple options here. Um, and that right now, I don't think that does anything for you. Um, but yeah, so we're going to use a combination of all of these components in order to connect to uh, the sawmill. Um, and we have to connect over to our depot over here in order to sell the logs from the, from the lo logging camp. So let's get going on that.
All right, guys, we're at the logging camp. So what we've got to do is run some lines right along this platform so we can operate these cranes and put the logs on our flatbed and earn more money so that when we do finally connect um, the rails up to the sawmill, we can take the lumber from the logging camp to the sawmill in one fell swoop. The big thing right now at the logging camp, though, is this, the cordwood. We need cordwood to, for fuel for our, our, our engine, our steam engine. So this is really important because you can't get it anywhere else. Um, so this is important. And you can, you can spawn. We don't, we don't need to worry too much about water. We can spawn a water tower anywhere. Um, right now, everything in the, in the menu is free. They don't charge you for anything. So, But um, yeah, so let's do that. Let's get some tracks running on this side. Get some tracks running on this side. And so that we don't need to switch heads where the engine switches from the front to the back to go back the other way. I want to make a loop. So I'm going to have a loop as well. So uh, yeah, let's get started. See how it turns out. All right, guys. So that was very long for me. That was like a couple hours for you. It was probably just a few minutes. But um, we've got the lumber yard hooked up to this yard. Now this is a cell point. So now we just have to lay out the track for this cell point. Um, and then we can start selling lumber here to get more cars to go to the sawmill. So. Another second, I'll do that.
What's up, guys? Machete Panda here. So this video took extremely long, a lot longer than I thought. So we're going to actually end it here. There'll be a part two. So this is episode, season one, episode one. We'll have a, this is part one. We're going to have a part two. Um, you'll see that during this video, I had done a lot, made a lot of mistakes, uh, the way the logic, the track comes together. Um, very different. Had to figure some of that out. Um, and there's also a lot of setting up points from where the start is uh, to where the end is and then going back and making a connection in between um, just because that just makes for a smoother track. So I'm going to end it here, but please like and subscribe. Part two is coming out immediately. So uh, pay attention for that. Thank you.